And oh, she's gone. Oh, there. Oh God, she's so creepy. Welcome everyone to another mod spotlight and today we're gonna go over the grimoire of Gaia mod which is a freaking cool mod at, that adds tons of new mobs to the Minecraft world and the mobs they are not like the ones you are used to I would say they are rather based on fantasy background and it is just crazy how many features there are and how many things you can discover. So why don't we go ahead and have a look at all the different mobs there are in this mod. Before we're going to showcase all the mobs, I'm actually going to introduce you to these four items which occasionally drop from the mobs and you just arrange them in this fashion to get the respective gems or ingots. We're gonna go through all the different biomes there are in Minecraft and check which mobs can actually spawn there. Now my chests are always set up the same way, so I'm explaining you right now so I don't have to mention it every time. I have my spawn egg always right here and the possible drop from the mobs right here. So I don't have to mention that. Also the sign rule means the mobs are passive, meaning that they will only defend themselves and the red rule means that they will most likely attack you. Alright, so first biome is actually the underground, which isn't really a biome, it's just cave systems, but let's have a look at those mobs first. First biome we're gonna look at is actually the underground system. It's not really a biome, it's just the cave systems that you encounter in your everyday Minecraft life. So let's have a look at the creeper girl. You have some nice drop and you also have the possibility to spawn her by yourself and keep her in a cage. Don't fall in love with her, you're gonna regret it. Next up we have the Ender Girl. She also has the abilities, so I've always put that on the top. Blindness 15 seconds. Oh dear. Ender Girl, you can also possibly spawn that by yourself. And there we have it. She can also teleport. As you can see. Next up we have the slime girl. Oh dear. Some very cool drop. Also a spawnable drop. Possibly. And there she is. Oh god it's getting creepy already. The bone knight actually has 40 hearts. That is crazy. You can see this will get pretty hard this mod. It also does 8 hearts damage per hit assuming that is without armor I guess. Also it can spawn two skellies as a helper and here we have it, pretty cool. And you can see I hit him, so he spawned a skeleton. Of course he's not attacking me right now because I'm in a convenient creative mode. So let's try to kill him. We can see with a diamond sword this took pretty long. Also drop me a emer emerald shard. Next up we have the Flesh Leech, which also has 40 hearts and 8 damage per hit, but it also has the ability to throw a fireball, or to set you on fire at least, gives you a hunger debuff and also spawns two zombies, which is crazy, but the loot is incredibly good, as you can see here, and it also has some rare drops, which is pretty cool. Let's have a look at it. Oh dear, if that isn't crazy awesome, I don't know what is. The Mimic is kind of a special mob. It has some serious debuffs for you in store, but only 20 hearts. But what it actually does, it drops one of those items. So it has a very far range, but it will only drop one of those. But it also has the potential to drop a Nether Star, which is pretty cool, I have to say. So let's have a look at it. You didn't expect that, did you? Me neither. Let's kill it. 20 hearts, we should be able to do that. There you go, drop the Nether Pearl. The last two mobs of the underground area are, are actually the Stone Golem and the Wither Cow. And you can see their stats right here. The Golem can actually throw you around. I'm not, I'm not gonna show you that, you can experience that by yourself. He's also gonna drop some stone, maybe and can spawn silver fish, oh lord. 
And the Wither Cat, of course, has the Wither debuff in store for you. And look at this crazy little... Oh god, when this is not creepy. And the Stone Golem is just right around the, cor the corner. Look at me. There you have him. A Cyclops design. I'm loving it. The designs are great. Next spawn we're gonna have a look at is the forest during the night time. We have two mobs spawning right there, the Dryads and the Spriggans. You can see their stats right there. They can also do some poison damage and actually a leap attack. So they will pretty much leap in right into your face if you wanna say so. We have some interesting drop right there. Drop that you've never seen before. So this baby here is actually the uh, a Dryad. And here we have the Spriggan. I mean, come on guys, these mobs are really cool. I've never seen things like that before. And just so you can see what leap means, there you have it. We have four mobs spawning in the desert. Actually two during the daytime. We have the Basilisk and the Sphinx right there some poison and leap attack you see com combining the the buffs and stuff that gets you really screwed up it's really adventurous we also have a uh, healing ability which is new and some spawning spirits which is pretty cool I have to say so let's have a look at these two guys the daytime mobs and you can see 80 hearts you don't really want to fight that without preparation so here we have them. Very exotic mobs. We also have two mobs spawning during the nighttime in the desert, the Anubis and the Harpies. You can see their stats right there. We also have a Scally Summoner and a Leap Attacker right there. Pretty cool loot, I have to say, from the Anubis and the Harpy. Oh yes, Egyptian style. And we also have them. Pretty cool. Let's have a look at the plains biome. During the nighttime, we have the centaur. Oh dear. They actually shoot some fire arrows, so just as a warning. This is so cool. This is so great. I have to say, we have the Minotaurus. I hope I'm saying that right, otherwise I'm pretty sorry. But here you have them, with an axe, stone axe, pretty cool. Some mining fatigue and slowness as well. We have the Minotaur, 80 hearts again, so this is a heavy dude, heavy dude. And I figured he drops also some diamond shards. Oh, he's big and sexy. Next biome would be the swamp. During the daytime we have one mob spawning, the Naga. Pretty heavy fellas. Also some annoying debuffs and they actually drop some fish. Which I would assume is accurate. And oh my gosh this is so freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, this, this reminds me of World of Warcraft. It's great. Golden sword. Very good job. Let's put that back and have a look at the nighttime mobs. We have the Siren. Oh yeah. No special abilities, I believe. And this is how she looks. So, kind of a sidekick of the Naga. Oh dear. I don't want to listen to her singing. No, no. We have the Witch. Now, this is not the Witch from the vanilla version. It is actually a improved Witch. A good witch that has a broom and can fly around or pretend to fly around which is pretty darn awesome I have to say now 40 well does she does some potion damage that's what this means and she can spawn cave spiders so think before pink huh Let's have a look at the jungle biome during the daytime. We have a cobblestone golem spawn. He can also perform the 
golem throw and actually is able to drop some cobblestone and moss stone and here we have him with his tiny little creepy head oh yes sweet we also have two nighttime mobs there we have the hunter which has a knockback arrow damaging system and the shaman which is a very dangerous dude that does some fire damage as well and can spawn some zombies but pretty epic loot let's have a look at them oh yeah oh there's so many mobs by now and the shaman this is great I love this mod we are not quite done yet no no let's have a look at the taiga biome we have during the daytime yeti spawning that is crazy cool as you say they give you some debuffs spawn some snow stuff which is pretty cool let's have a look at them oh yes it is even greater than I imagined we will also encounter mobs during the night time and this is where it gets a little bit creepy I have to be honest with you so we have the maid now let's have a look at her first oh yeah so she is passive and also drops some cookies and wheat which I think is hilarious and oh she's gone oh there oh god she's so creepy just, just stay there okay we have Yuki Ona 40 hearts I'm not sure if this is a reference or not but I'm not getting it we, she also drops some string or silk and we have some debuffs not good oh yeah I told you it's it's getting creepy as hell last but not least we have the vampires oh dear lord and they actually have a new abilities they <laughs> also spawn butlers which I think is really funny then we also have uh, well when they damage you they basically heal themselves which is pretty a uh, pretty good solution to the whole vampire thing and also they give you nausea oh no I do not want to encounter a vampire but we will let's have a look at it here he is Dracula <laughs> oh that is great only a few more categories to go let's have a look at the extreme hills biome during the daytime we have one mob spawning the Valkyrie or I'm not sure how to pronounce that but I do know that this is a very dangerous mob as you can see from the stats also it can spawn some spirits which is pretty interesting so let's have a look at it oh yes that looks like a flying knight that you don't want to mess with so let's leave her alone for the time being we also have some uh, nighttime mobs actually only two we have the Dalahan with uh, only four hearts of damage drop some flowers which is pretty cute and you can see pretty pretty much headless oh gosh that is great also we have the banji which is a pretty cool implementation I have to say I'm a I think this is my favorite mob we have a 8 DPS or damage per hit and it drops some coal which I mean it's not very useful but <laughs> I like her. I like her. I want to keep her as a pet. The ocean biome actually also has some mobs in store for us. They are primarily underground, so that means in, in cave systems within an ocean biome. And we have uh, those three mobs. So if you have a quick look at the stats, you can also see that they have uh, sometimes water breathing, so they will not suffocate from that. So let's have a look at the Sahujin. Okay. <laughs> I'm at least trying it. Pretty cool. Okay. Not a very dangerous mob, I would say. But we have the mermaid, which is too bad that she's dangerous. But. Oh, yeah. That is one hell of a mermaid. 
Okay, and the Giga Knight. Oh, I don't wanna know. I don't even wanna know. Drops clay. Oh god! This is crazy cool. Look at this blade. You don't wanna mess with him. No, you don't. Now that we had a look at all the biomes that are within this dimension, it's actually time to have a look at the nether and the end. So there's two mobs in the nether. We have the su succubus and the baphomet. And I'm so sorry about my pronunciation, but you're just gonna have to go with it. So we also have some nausea stuff going on and healing. They, they are able to heal themselves, spawn butlers, and it's just crazy. It's crazy, you want to be prepared. So let's have a look at those guys. Oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. It's a... Look at those wings. I love it. Okay, and... What was that again? The Baphomet. Oh, yeah. With a bone as a weapon. That's the way to go. And we also have a Ender Dragon girl, of course. How can we? Cool drops. And this is how she looks like. You had a brief look at her, but she's gonna teleport away when she doesn't feel comfy. To finish off the spotlight, it's time to have a look at the kind of special mobs, I would say. So we have chests. As mobs, actually, yeah. They have 0.5 hearts each. And we have the iron chest, the diamond chest, and the gold chest. And they will drop one of their respective ingots, block, tools, or armor. But just one of those items. So let's have a look at the chest. And you can see, you find them just randomly, I guess, in the world. And you can see it dropped a gold sword for me. Let's have a look at the diamond chest dropped a diamond helmet. That is pretty darn awesome. And the iron one. Yay! And last but not least we have some peaceful mobs which actually I cannot show you because there aren't any spawn eggs existing but you will encounter these as well. They will not hurt you and they can drop a creeper girl each. So also the ender girl, the peaceful one, drops a creeper girl apparently, and the slime girl as well. Pink wool being peaceful. Oh yes. Now this mod seems to be under heavy maintenance, so there's gonna be plenty of more mobs added, I would assume. So it's gonna be very well worth having a look at the forum post that I'm gonna link in the description of course. Other than that, this has been it for the spotlight. I hope you've been enjoying it. I hope you're gonna download this awesome mod and have some fun with it. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see ya in the next spotlight. Bye bye.